stuff that Kurt was doing when you left? You finished a few minutes after you left? It's just the whole middle section now is like, uh, what's a good word? Heavy. I mean, singing bit to the... It's just awesome. Well, it's, it's, it's like concise. It's like, you know, it's just... It's starting to get, yeah, heavier, yeah. What? What? You were in such a great mood yesterday. <laughs> you know. You <laughs> know. Yeah, let's work. Let's go make some music. No, let's make it heavier. Let's make it heavier. No, I am. What? I got. I could. Throw change. No! Yeah! I'm not fucking doing it! Throw change! Look! I can't play bass to something that the drums are. Just started. warm up. Warm up for like a half an hour before you do it. Stop winding me up. That's why I got the shit mood yesterday. Come on. Put it in your warm up last night. Oh, you're afraid. You're afraid that you're, you're not going to You just fucking. Fuck, no! You can't deliver it, and you're afraid of it. Come on, Lars, do the drums. What does it look like? Just warm up for about half an hour. Oh, let's, let's check it out. It's like you're knocking on air. Do you see my like an like, invisible barrier kind huh? of thing? See? The only way you actually know you're hitting glass is because the camera's shaking. You sure that... Well, then people might think that, that that's Nicholas's head you're knocking on or something. Hello? <laughs> Nicholas's like dome. knocking on their huh? computer screen trying to get out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're Trying Metallica, to we want to get to you! <laughs> yeah, Happy New Year, we want to come into your house. Hello? Yeah. Uh, is anybody home? Happy, <laughs> happy, happy last old year. I'm so tired so of what this. did you get for happy Christmas? Happy New Year. Uh, I got a computer. That's what I got my wife. I got a G4, ti a G4 titanium computer. Yeah. And uh, an X pod or whatever. iPod. iPod. I'm very happy about that. I got an ear pod that goes on my ears. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, pods album. <laughs> and I got a uh, Hawaiian what did you shirt. Get? <laughs> you got more I, than one Hawaiian <laughs> shirt. I did. I actually got two Hawaiian <laughs> shirts. Yes, you did. One was for my birthday. Suit? Oh, you didn't get a tracksuit. No, the sweater was for your birthday. The sweater was for my birthday, and yeah. the Hawaiian shirt was, was for Christmas. Christmas, yeah. Because they're separate things. Yeah. What did you get for Christmas? <laughs> Come on, Sven. Really what did like you that? get for Christmas? No, you're talking to the people in the... Oh, you're yeah. talking to the people oh, in the... Oh, okay. <laughs> what did you get for Christmas? <laughs> Send in your... And I really? Got, wow, and I got that's cold. great. I got a cold and a cough. Cool. Hey, don't talk to me that way. <laughs> it's not very nice. So what's going on in Taligaland? We're talking to the camera. Cool. We're getting well, more songs done. We're getting more songs done. More arranging stuff. More, yeah. More crazy, crazy metal. <laughs> Trying to make heads or tails of songs. We're almost at 100 songs now, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I think by the end of today, we'll be at 103. 100. 100. <laughs> I kind of enjoyed the process of the last one. It's like you hear the song and you go, what is that? And then you start soaking it in and then it's like we all start throwing in what we need to hear in the song or what would help the song and we try them out. And it's like, it's like literally building something, you know, shaping everyone, it. everyone's shaping it. Yeah. It's really cool. No, we, 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 don't, we don't write songs, we shape them. Yeah. What do you do for a living? They write us. Yeah, the song... <laughs> The they song come, that they, wrote itself. <laughs> the what? material comes, uh, is channeled through us, and then we shape it. But writing, I don't know. Yeah, is that what we are? Shapers. We're, no, we're just, uh, what is we're it called? Music, or, no, we're, we're organizing space and time. <laughs> and vibration. That's what we're doing. We're organizing space, time, and vibration. No, but we're just, what is it called, like, in, in, like, in science fiction or alien movies when, you know, like, aliens or... They're using like a human being as a was an experiment. No, as a, pig? as a kind of a delivery. Oh, a vast vessel. A vessel. Vessel. Yeah. We Which are yeah, vessels. Many vessels. Yeah. We're for the metal vessels. for the metal to come through. Right, we're just vessels. Yeah. Between the metal that's floating around us, and to get to you. 
right? Out there. Through your screen. Right, because all the metal is, is everywhere, right? Mm. It's just that we're the ones, we, we, we're, we're the chosen ones. We're the chosen <laughs> vessels to bring that metal to you, right? Yeah, but it's, you know, the, the choice is totally by random, so don't feel right, yeah. like you're not In the next life, special. it could be you bringing it to us. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. So be good. So don't and play your don't music. think that you have to like the music, you know. You know, but it would help. You know, if you want to be a chosen one soon, <laughs> you need to join our cult. You know how well dressed We're cloning. nicely today. See, we all have pants. We all have pants on and uh, shoes, which is what? pretty See? weird considering that usually we are what? We're no I came no no I'm dirty flaps. No dirty dirtiest feet contest today. Yeah, I, I we could have who's got the nicest shoes on. I have clogs. But on Monday I came to uh, came here in my pajamas. <laughs> I got up, got out, got out of bed, put on my clogs and came here. Were you naked day. yesterday out in the car? <laughs> you're always man exposing me. It's because you're exposing you're yourself. Your <laughs> You have a room upstairs. <laughs> I know, but it seems easier to change out in the parking lot. Well, in case the camera was on, that's why. Yeah. You didn't want to come in with exactly. the surfing gear on or whatever. Yeah, well, you had. No, in my little, my little your pajamas. My briefs. You came in. What, you just got in your car in your pajamas and came to work <laughs> on Monday. Yeah. Yesterday. Shit, I, I'm late. I, yesterday I drove over here naked because I was too sweaty because I got out of the steam. Of course, I had a towel on the seat, and then I got dressed in the in the parking lot. Don't do it, man. You I live. Arrested. I live right. out of my 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 car basically a lot of times. I'm like you. I have like a, a whole full wardrobe in the back of my car and toiletries and a towel. Two towels. You have a toilet in your car. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they call it. Actually, we do in the suburban. <laughs> oh, you do? You have uh, one of those a little porta potty porta. for the kids, you know? Cool. I gotta go pull over. You know, like one of those funnels? You know, one of those funnels on that, like we had on that airplane? Oh, yeah. The P tube? That, that no one would use except Tony going Smith. By. <laughs> <laughs> Not for adults, but for kids. It's, uh, and it's funny because, yeah, you pee in the little potty, and then what do you do with it? <laughs> you just throw it. It's like they could pee on the ground, but no, we're teaching them, you know, good habits. Right. <laughs> anyway, that's what we've been doing. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's what what's been up with us in the studio. In case you're wondering. Uh, Is there anything oh. else? Uh, there was some uh, pretty interesting posts today about Lincoln Park and System of a Down. I don't know where people are getting their information. I mean. What do you th- what do you what do you think? I don't even know what you're talking about. The only thing I know is, is this. No, I don't know if we can actually share this with people. I think you can. Really? I think so. Do you think so? Do you think I can share? Because I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to piss anybody. <laughs> okay. All right. Remember Alcoholica. All right. Remember drank them all. All right. Just think about this and think about that and you know. Yeah, is that is that cool or what? Or maybe. But do you really think? Do you think it would be disrespectful to this guy? What? Just leave his name out that the band can mention. I think. Huh? But you know, do you know what I mean? I mean, this is a nice fax, and maybe he would. It's an email, so it's okay. Yeah, but I, that doesn't. He, he probably, if he, when he emailed this to us, he probably didn't. Ex- I shouldn't. Should I? Yeah, maybe not. Oh, I mean, you can give away. But this is bit. funny. What? It's fine. Tell Are you me. sure? Well, people should know. You think Ask so? James. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Can I share this information with everybody out there? Because I think it's kind of ironic. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. Here in, okay, guys. in my oh. right hand, I'm holding a um, an email from the ex-bass player of Voivod who wants to audition for Metallica. Isn't that kind of funny? His name isn't Jason, is it? Heavy, heavy, heavy metal. Alright, so we're going to the metal factory? Yep. Shall we go? Huh? Come on, let's go. Did you guys enjoy all those posts that Nicholas put up about how great the new design is? Huh? I love that. See, I'll just check it out. See? See? Alright. Metal up your ass is Nicholas's brother. Metallica Babe is Nicholas's cousin in Sweden, right? Evil Rotten Spawn is one of Nicholas's childhood friends, right? Metallic Freak is 
the guy in Entombed, right? Yeah. Right? Manic Street Preacher. It's the Miss Sugar, guys. The big one is in Camden, actually. What does SBS mean? Swanland. Huh? <laughs> Okay. What's the Four Horsemen website? What's that? It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big poster. Dude. Oh, did you get? Awesome. Did you see the? Um, if anybody's there uh, on the club site the other day, there was uh, Steakman. Have you seen that? Some some on uh, the club post about three four days ago, somebody was saying, go to this website called Steakman.com or something. And there was a whiskey in the jar. Fixer showed it to me upstairs. Uh, a whole cartoon to our version of whiskey in the jar. Yeah, Did you see that? Before. Did you see cool. it? It was really, really good. You know about it. You and you didn't tell me. Well, that what, what, kind of, what kind of like employee of the band are you, man? I'm counting songs. What? You're what? I'm You're counting. counting songs? Counting songs. <laughs> counting how many great songs we have now? We have about 108. Irony. It's funny. It's the no, new year. No, okay. <laughs> uh, we're up to 104. Yeah. We actually we ch we uh we channeled the song. We wrote a song while we're just standing here. Mm -hmm. Right? It's 104 now. Yeah. Right? yeah. Right, Phil? It's, uh, I think it's 105 right now. I'm counting. Because I can feel one coming up from you guys. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel one <laughs> coming up too. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it coming out. <laughs> oh, the only other thing, oh, James asked what I got for Christmas. I got one thing that's so brilliant that you guys have to check out is that um, I got the complete uh, DVD of all the Young Ones episodes, all 12 of them, okay? Just, don't sit here and, and watch this horse shit. Go down to the store and get all the Young Ones episodes because it's like a... Uh, what do you call it? Like a soundtrack? That's not a soundtrack. That's a stupid thing to say. It was like between like eighty four, eighty five, eighty six. That was everything we watched, and I hadn't seen them for about ten years. And uh, now they're available on DVD in America on NTSC. Okay. Today. Today is uh, Black Shirt Thursday. Right? Today's uh, you know, uh, today's Velcro shoe Thursday, right? <laughs> and um, today we're doing what are we doing today? We are um, we're working on a song called, and um, we're pretty psyched about it. It's uh, the longest song on the record so far. Yeah, it's uh, I can tell you, I can say a couple of these things, right? Nobody's gonna. It's over eight minutes long. If there's still two minutes, it's over eight minutes long, and um, the songs just keep getting longer and longer. It's, it's crazy. That's what James was saying about like the songs are so long that we don't even like know them. But um, I think James uh, put down a rough guide vocal to the song on Monday. Kurt did guitars on it yesterday, and I think maybe James is gonna um, do some more singing on it, or old uh, Fahila is gonna um, is gonna. Um, can you bring the camera up? More like that. There. Um, is gonna uh, it's gonna play bass on it today. Uh, and. Uh, it's so metal, dude. You fucking. Just wait to hear the shit. It's so metal. What? Huh? Should we let them in there? I mean, that guy. Can I go in and hear some? Runs that website. It's okay, Leo. You know, it's fine with me. You gotta just check with the other two cats. It's fine. I have, like. You know me. I'm like. <laughs> I'm easy, you know. Like, fuck, go in. Oh, so it's Bob. Bob's the one that always spazzes. I shouldn't hear it too much. That'll ruin the surprise when the record comes out. Yeah. Sure. Come in and listen. Right? Yeah. Cool. Do you think anybody yeah. think nobody's actually still there? <laughs> well, like, uh, what is Lars is what, showboating again or whatever? Yeah. What is it? Lars being the drama queen or what is it they say? Good. So it's a good start on the new year, right? Yeah, now there's... Huh? We have a deadline. You guys are side. Pass on to whoever. Or maybe we don't have a deadline. Okay.
Yeah, we have a deadline. Yeah, so you guys are gonna crunch. Well, obviously, duh. I mean, come on. We've got like a bunch of dates booked. So obviously, we have a deadline. Yeah, but now it's on our website. Huh? What's our deadline? Our deadline is what? January 15th? Something like that? Yeah. Yeah, January 15th. Really? I thought it was later. Dude, you got 18th? bits right there. Oh, sorry. Hey, I got one thing. Can I just say one thing? Yeah. Where's the uh, Justice for All Tour program? Here's my, here's my observation. Um, for, here's my observation this week, right? Check out, here's the Injustice for All Tour program, right? This is from 1988. Okay, now remember in the load, uh, you know, in the load thing, um, when there was a picture of me and uh, Kirk's uh, tongues touching, and everybody was going, it's the new game Metallica. This is the album from Injustice for All, right? That is, by most of you guys out there, revered as the most heaviest left field full-on metal album that we have done, right? With, without without post, bass. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay? Now, here's a picture from the Injustice for All tour book, okay? You guys, you know, check this out. Can you zoom in on that? Okay? Okay? The tongues touched in 1988 during, in the year of the heaviest Metallica record. Okay? So just... Is that something to tell about the future, or...? No. 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 His well, point, I, point, being, be, point being is, is that people are just full of shit and no will just talk shit uh, about anything. Uh, there was no correlation between whatever perception you have of what we're doing on the Load album and mine and Kirk's uh, perceived homosexual uh, tendencies. There's no correlation between that because, as I said again, on the heaviest album, or the most thrashy or whatever, right? We're just, you know, I'll say it again. We're just so comfortable in our masculinity and our maleness and our our love for our our own selves that we can kiss each other and not feel threatened or affected or or I'll anything, you know. You again. It's so and cute. you know, I love women, and there's some women out there who know I love women, and there's some women out there who know you love women. So that's. And the story. Women, women is your friend. Women rule, and they, and they do women too. Women is your friend. <laughs> what? Hey, so if it so wasn't you, for women, guys, we wouldn't be here. Did you guys notice what I noticed? That in their, as they're professing their, oh, their yeah, comfort no. with here their masculinity? What? what did they have to do? He had to reference women as the tagline to assure himself that there's no, you know. All right, you, get out, you get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Go, go help James or Bob or something. They're the ones with the issues, right? If they were really comfortable, if they were really comfortable, they could, they could, if they're really comfortable, they could just, like the, you know, like just say, it's okay, right there, you know? Don't you have somebody to save? Huh? Right. Are we done? Is, there I, is, it, great then, is this is this uh, is this good enough, man? I think it's, it's good for today. Does this okay. go back under the content of Babel? How does it goes to the? Did you notice it was very spontaneous the way it started? No, we rehearsed it, dude. No, the way James all of a sudden said. <laughs> <laughs> now that was a lot of fun doing that. And even note, even Jason was doing it. Yeah. Who needed the biggest crossover? Huh? James. Well, James, you know, James's cross should have been tilted slightly that way. <laughs> James is, is... But he's farther back. James so gets the biggest cross, and me and Kirk are tied for second. Right? Yeah. And... Doesn't matter anymore. No, it doesn't. There's nothing more to say. Right. right? Cool. Is that it? That's it. That's it for today. Uh, I just... No, just we could, one more. Okay. Look at that. I mean, that is metal. That is great Look shot. at that. What? Great metal shot. Huh? God. Huh? Fucking so cool. God, man, what happened? What happened? You know, this we, we look very different here than we do, say, on the uh, in the booklet on the Load album. Get that no, we don't. Huh? Very um, different. What? I don't think so. You know what, actually, the scary thing about this that I found out the other day is I actually had a mullet. I mean, fuck. This is so fucked up when I was sitting looking at this. That's, that's borderline a mullet.
Where's Borderline? Huh? It only looks that way because you have your hair behind your ear. What the fuck is that about? Why didn't anybody tell me? Huh? I think you're um, in conversation I thought, with Joe Elliott. I thought uh, <laughs> Hetfield was the only one that had a mullet in Metallica. Well, he had a real one. Right. An actual ape drape or a safe but wild. An ape drape? Mm hmm. We should stop. This is enough. Yeah. Okay. Just stop. Just stop.